Welcome back to the Vita Boys, you PlayStation gamers. World of Final Fantasy is a game that no one really expected. I mean, before this came out, if someone told me a new Final Fantasy game was coming to the Vita, I'd probably have a response similar to this. Well, it happened and we're all very excited. These type of titles really help remind us that the Vita was no slouch when it came to horsepower and why owning one is so amazing. So yes, the game has been available for quite a while, but for those of you on the fence on buying it, or if you just want to learn more about the game for fun, then this video is definitely for you. The first thing we should cover is the overall gameplay experience. Now, while this world may look vast as there are so many areas you can visit, the game is quite linear. Unlike Final Fantasy XV, which we covered last time, you won't be driving around in any airships freely across a massive open environment. However, this isn't a bad thing as it calls back to a more classic gameplay feel that just really fits when playing it on the Vita. This stays true for the rest of the game as you can begin to realize that while there are a lot of noticeable similarities and throwbacks to previous entries in the series, this is more of a standalone game. This isn't to say though that it doesn't have its trials. Gameplay becomes increasingly difficult as the story progresses but keeps the doors open for new users in the start which is definitely nice to see. Let's Let's take a minute to understand the main characters we're dealing with here. Rain is very patient and cautious when it comes to making decisions. She primarily holds the story together with her intelligence and ability to reason. She can't do this alone though, and that's where her brother Lan comes in. While not as intelligent and quick-witted as his sister, Lan definitely has quite the interesting way about him. He's the type of guy that doesn't quite get what you're saying the first time, but with persistence will grasp a concept and act on it accordingly. This is definitely where he shines, as he can take on nearly anything that stands in front of him with such a passionate soul for adventure. The two siblings make quite the team and definitely have each other's backs in even the darkest of times. Wow, it's like magic! Yeah, really irresponsible magic. At this point, you've probably noticed that the look of this game is quite different. Different in this case is a very good thing. Because of the clean and well-textured environment, we see not much of a drastic difference in visual quality between the Vita version and a copy of the game that sits on your PS4. The people of Grimoire are all very tiny with an art style known as chibi. But if you don't quite appreciate your main character looking the way they do, you can easily switch between the two forms. With that being said, there are a ton of different environments, all with their own touch of awesome. While the game isn't perfect, the people over at Square Enix should be proud of what they've accomplished. Now when it comes to the storyline, I won't spill too many beans, but fans of the Final Fantasy series will be given lots of throwbacks in this game as the world is filled with classic characters and creatures from previous games. Everything starts off with two siblings, Lan and Ren, that suffer from amnesia, both with the power to control the creatures known as mirages. The two must travel to Grimoire to master their powers and take back their memories. After traveling across the land, searching far and wide, they encounter counter Lilikins and Bahamut army that both pose a threat to a world that they must defend. Yes, I was just forcing a Pokemon reference there, which moves us over to our next topic. Combat is very similar to a good old game of Pokemon, well at least the feel. While it's not a carbon copy, since the actual battle system is very different, you do spend a very large chunk of time catching creatures called Mirages and using them in battle, but if you want to be the very best like no one ever was, you're gonna have to work hard as this game does get difficult as time moves on. On. Mirages all have their strengths and weaknesses with a comprehensive way of fighting using the active time battle system. Your abilities and skills will all depend on the mirages that you befriend and use. Something interesting is that certain mirages can also be mounted or used in different ways outside of battle, so no matter where you end up, your favorite creature can go with you. has been World of Final Fantasy, everything you need to know. If you have any questions, make sure to message us in the comment section down below and tell us what your opinions are. Do you want to be the very best or is this the pass for you? Okay, I'm seriously draining that Pokemon reference, but in all seriousness, we love talking to you guys, so let's start some conversation. And if you want to stay social, make sure to follow us on Twitter at the Vita Boys and at VitaBoy underscore BitBite to stay up to date with the channel and for future information on our giveaways. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and until next time, Vita Boys out. Yeah.